Hey everybody, I've been getting a lot of uh, requests for a tutorial on Hay 19, probably more than any other video I've done in recent memory. So uh, I usually charge for these. I do videos and tablature of songs that people request, but I've gotten so many requests on this one. I thought, what the heck, I'll do a little freebie. And, you know, this isn't the full uh, unpacking of every note. Uh, but basically kind of a, a flyover of the, uh, the lay of the land, the structure of the song, how it's put together. And uh, Hugh McCracken, may he rest in peace, that just superlative guitar work he did on there. Wonderful stuff. So, uh, as most of you know, Steely Dan stuff, very complex. And they pack more complexity than jazz harmony into a pop song. Uh, than anybody but uh, this one is among their simpler songs but it throws people because it has three tonal centers the chorus is in F sharp minor the verses are in D major and the uh, guitar solo kind of based around E minor and uh, then it modulates back to the D tonal center of the uh, verse so basically starts out on the chorus changes which are an F sharp minor F sharp minor 7 and we all know that one which is a right a B minor 7 so I got a D triad there I'm doing it here. Get my hands up there. So I got the F sharp mine. And just muting with the right hand. C sharp, E, F sharp. sharp minor 7, A9, right, barring this 9 chord, D major 7, 10th fret of the D, barring on the 14th fret of the B, G, and E, so, and then a G9, you know, F sharp minor, a9, D major 7, G9, right, just taking, keeping the bar, but taking those fingers off, kind of the long train running, right, that thing, so that's kind of the whole move that made Keith Richards career right here, so, A9, D major 7, G9, F minor 7. And then he slides into... Now we're in D. The tonal center of the verse. And the change is... D, F sharp in the bass. G, A7. That's kindergarten symbol for Steely Dan. But uh, that's the basic framework. And... Uh, Way back when in sixty seven. Yeah, very, very simple thing, but uh, Hugh McCracken, so brilliant, he's just taking kind of out of here and most of his rhythm part is in sixths, the interval of a six. G string, E string, and here the D string and the B string. And he makes wonderful use out of that. Muting with the palm. Right? A uh, little uh, 
fragment of a G7, A7. Beautiful move. The six here on the fifth fret slides to the eighth, lands on the seventh. G11 or a F over G to A11, a G over A. So simple, two notes, and, but just kind of chugging along, keeping that groove and just locking in with the drummer. And then, um, she thinks I'm crazy, but I'm just growing old. And that comes the chord sequence that walks back into the F minor seventh, or F sharp minor seventh, where the uh, chorus says. <laughs> So we have just a B minor 7, C sharp minor 7, a uh, G major 7, and we had the D major 7th up here. It's just the same shape. 5th fret of the D, barring on the 7th fret of the G, B, and E, G major 7, and a C sharp 7 sharp uh, nine sharp five raise nine raise five so uh, like the Hendrix purple haze chord but you bar with the pinky to catch the B and the E string on the fifth fret so so she thinks I'm crazy but I'm just growing old hey 19 and then we're back into But after the second chorus, please, please take me along when you slide on down. E minor now. So that's a different tonal center that's not appeared yet for the solo. C minor 7, garden variety, just on the A thread. So, right, it's coming out of that G minor pentatonic. Now we're in B flat, major nine, so it's basically an F uh, triad on the tenth fret of the D, G, and B string. Fret, eighth fret. A uh, like a A eleven. So that uh, or, right. So now that we're in A, that sets about going back. To the verse changes in D. So E minor, C minor, B flat, major 11, Sliding on those six again. Nice, right? So we've got those going, and uh, he's just back into that groove thing again.
So, uh, sorry, that's my puppy whining to get out here. So, um, we've got a lot of those six, and then coming out of that D form, just grabbing two strings, but just chugging along with the groove. A G. Like a like a G uh, minor thirteen or six. Or a uh, diminished over that A. The, that B flat in there. So it's got those uh, slides and those little riffs in there. And the things he's doing in the uh, verses, the fills, you know. A19, that's read the Franklin. She don't remember him. All out of G major, her D major pentatonic. Almost like a country band. She don't remember the Queen of Soul. All six. And the hard time befallen, the soul survivor. The Six. There's that G seven fragment slide. the ride out where they're just on that groove on the fade So that's the whole song in a nutshell. The three tonal centers, the F sharp minor seven of the verse, of the uh, chorus, excuse me. D tonal center of the verses and uh, coming out of the uh, E minor. B major seven, or B flat major. And then, A uh, suspended and those beautiful chord sequences that walk from the verse into the chorus and the chorus into the verse um, into the F sharp minor coming out of the verse and then coming out of the chorus back into the verse that sets the uh, the D up there. So I hope that helps everybody and have a great weekend.